Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has pushed a little bit higher here towards the weekly candle close. Um, but that's pretty much all noise. We haven't really seen a breakout to the upside or anything significant. Um, just a little move up and we have approached the 55k level. And we have broken above the initial resistance, however, which means I have changed the chart a little bit. It was already recognizable before the breakout. So on Discord, I posted a warning, I think just in time. Um, but again, it only applies to the micro level. Nothing really changed. That was just before the move up where I highlighted um, here at 11 p.m. In the smaller structures due to the three wave pullback we have seen over the weekend, there's a decent chance that the weekend high could be broken, which then even happened just like, I don't know, 10 minutes afterwards or something potentially turning this into a diagonal as per the blue scenario. So this was this blue count, you see it here, and I've now changed this, however, to yellow. And because of the break above the weekend high, the yellow count is now, or the, the, the formerly blue count is now yellow, and that's the preferred scenario. So it's morphed from a downside impulse to a downside diagonal pattern, which is also what I am watching for the Ethereum chart. Okay, so if you watch the previous Ethereum chart today, then you already know that for Ethereum, also Ethereum is going a little higher just now. But overall, you know, this don't do not, you know, mistake this for really bullish. I've talked today in the videos extensively about the bullish possibility that if the bulls turn up, they should do it from here. But to really consider the bullish option as primary, I need to see this one two, three, four, five. I need to see five waves that break above 57K. But that's what we talked about in the previous video, so it shouldn't be anything new. I highlighted specifically what I need to see to consider more bullish options. They are on the chart, they are valid, but I need to see that first five wave move up. Um, it morphed now from a downside impulse, probably to a diagonal pattern. That again, isn't bullish. And if we get a three wave rally above 57K, it's also not necessarily bullish. It needs to be a five wave rally. Still above 57K, we can put the detailed wave count for the white scenario on the chart. I feel it's a bit too early for that now. And overall, yeah, not much changed. So, but it morphed from what seemed to be an impulse to a diagonal. How does that work? Well, in a diagonal pattern, by the way, let me change here the wave degree. We have a B wave top here, you, you know that. Okay, so that's the top of the 25th of August. And then we said, okay, we have a wave one to the downside, wave two to the upside. And then this was a three wave move, the initial move down, not a five wave move. Um, this year was three waves in wave A. We're now moving up in wave B then we could get a C wave down. And as long as it's only a three wave move up, I'm considering this scenario, then a wave four to the upside and a wave five to the downside. So one, two, A, B, C, three, four, five. So not in the grand scheme of things, nothing changed. We've just pushed a little bit higher than an impulse on the 15 to 30, 30 minute charts would allow for. But we are still, the trend is still being kept down due to this trend line, breaking above it would be potentially short-term bullish. So pay attention to this one. And if we take a look at the microstructures, obviously the price got rejected at the trend line now. Um, if it pushes higher, it doesn't need to. I mean, again, it's only a corrective rally could break at any point, but if it's the C wave, then it should reach, yeah, it's not far, not much longer actually. 55,950. So that would be the ideal, let's say, target for a C wave. Um, but it, you know, it, it doesn't need to, it's not like a minimum target, okay? So I'm still leaning towards the yellow count, but I'm, I'm watching for short-term upside potentially, but it, it might just be a, a, a wick or a fake out above the trend line and then a move down. So any break below the, you could say the weekend low, which formed at 53,700 would be a really good indication that circle C to the downside has started. And if this circle C is unfolding, 
it could take us to and it's difficult to say because we haven't got a top in place right for wave b but let's assume b goes a little higher maybe to 56k then circle c to the downside yeah should take us to around about 49,340. so it's it should still take us down there into that mid 40k region eventually um at the moment we just have seen a little bit of a push above initial resistance but that's just i would say noise you could even say meaningless volatility which might only impact you if you're really short futures um with high leverage or so but overall it's still not directly bullish until we get a five wave move up above 57k so that's the update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye